worst couples ever. Have you Eleven of, years you've been married. Eleven years you've been married. Have you ever heard of a he friend? He ain't even a friend that don't even know you married. What's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again. I'm the Charles of Small Clips with the worst couples I can find. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess we have this girl over here who pretty much says she cheated on her boyfriend. Well, not technically because they were on a break. Guys, I don't know who believes in that kind of stuff. If you are on a break with your significant other and you still do something with somebody else, that's cheating in my opinion and I wouldn't get back with you. If your significant other gets with another person during a break, is that considered cheating? Oh, I, I can't say that. I can't say anything on that. Why? <laughs> well, I was the one that did that, so it's like I have no... Oh, okay. Yeah. You're, damn. But I do feel damn. guilty. I do feel guilty. Okay. Yeah. Did, did, he, did that person give you a second chance? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you get with that person afterwards? No. Well, I guess you learned your lesson then, yeah, eh? I did. Yeah, don't worry about it. In this next one, we have the biggest simp of all. Once again, this guy is just embarrassing himself. It goes to show he has no boundaries for himself and is actually super scared to lose his woman over what he thinks of her. Basically, I guess she sleeps with other guys to, to make them money. And she also does OnlyFans on the side. And I guess when it came down to it for him to put his foot down, he hesitated. Like, why are you so scared of losing your girl? If she doesn't respect you, you move on as a man. But this guy doesn't think he's a simp at all when in reality this is the low of the low and he's absolutely embarrassing what a pile of bull you say he is yours and no one else can have him yet you are his and willing to give yourself away to male porn stars that care nothing about you garbage love you brian We're, everyone's Thank gonna you. paycheck at the end of the day and honestly i will quit but like babe do you want me to quit i'll quit today oh do you want her to quit I've been wanting to quit anyway. Is, it, she, is this a whatever she, exclusive? She can quit when she's ready. Okay, but no, what, but do, what do you, you want? want? Yeah, what, what are you, you going to do to make money? I would, like, I would like her to quit, yes. Well, you would like her to quit. Do you want her to quit tonight on the whatever podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to make it official? <laughs> okay, we'll make it official. She's quitting. For real? Yes. Okay, then from this point on, what are we both going to do for money? Because we need to have a plan. You can still do OnlyFans. Okay. Compromise. Compromise. Okay. Y'all, y'all smoking crack. Something is wrong with you people. What the hell is this world? And this sex list goes to show that money can literally give you an excuse to cheat if you're that successful because women, at least these type of women, will not care about it. These women are literally saying they'd at least be in a G-Wagon and he can cheat all he wants, at least I'm in a G-Wagon. When does material objects like surpass love at that point? At this point, you're not even in a relationship. You're just exchanging each other's like time with one another for something else. How much money should your man make a year, Heather? Eight figures. Eight figures. Okay, so that's ten million dollars. Yeah. How much do you want your man to make? I would like, yeah, like a successful entrepreneur who is making more money than me. So minimum baseline minimum. is six figure man. Minimum. Yeah. You guys are comfortable with being delusional. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not delusional. I've dated a guy whose house was eight figures. Have you ever done dating a guy who makes ten million a year? Oh please. I've dated brokies. Now if that guy makes 10, 20 million dollars a year. How comfortable would you be if he cheated on you every once in a while? Not all the time, but once a year. Heather, I love you, baby, but I'm going on a business trip. By the way, I made 10 million dollars this year. You like you like your G-Wagon that you're driving. I mean, you like the mansion. That's how it is. That I so you're okay I do, with that. I agree that is how it is, but Ooh. there's, you know, it's, there's a payoff for everything. No, I, so if you are comfortable with it. If I'm driving a G-Wagon, I'd rather, I'd rather ride in a G-Wagon. In this section, we have Ethan, I guess. He's once again roasting people who work out i'm not sure what's wrong with making fun of people who work out there's nothing wrong with it and it's way better than i guess what he's doing a six yes. pack stop bullets <laughs> i mean if, if you work it out hard enough maybe i don't know right because right. it just seems like i mean being strong looks cool and some women like it it is it's better than making fun of people on the internet all day and this next one, we have a woman over here who says the most ridiculous thing ever, which is she'd rather be a single mom than a married one. I'm not sure where you get that idea. She probably just wants to take the money from child support and do her own thing. And she doesn't even care about her own child and realizes that having a father in the family is much more beneficial for the child than you just being a single mom. Thankfully, everybody else roasted her on the panel. This was so stupid to say. Before I be a wife. Really? That is very interesting. Why? I'd just rather cater to a child than, than my husband. Than a husband. And when you're a wife, you don't need to get married. No, no but when you, you just think when you're a wife, you're a hey, wife, yeah. you're a mom, and you, you still have to find time to be yourself. And I'd rather just find time to be a mom and just be myself as of right now. Okay. 
and well, I get it. Uh, yeah, I'm not, it's just I'd rather be a mom right now. So that's a very interesting point of view. Yeah. No, I get it. And this next one, I guess this man tried spitting some game. Now either this woman is absolutely slow, or she just I guess tried hiding the fact that this man was trying to flirt with her. You guys gotta let me know in the comments. Can I say hi? Yeah. Please. And this next one, I guess this man tried to have some Riz, and this is some type of Riz that I guess got her attention. The Rizzler strikes Hello. again. Hey, excuse me. Um, I don't, I don't normally do this. I just thought you were kind of cute, and I was wondering if I could buy you a uh, coffee. I already have a coffee. Right. And this sex was goes to show that even a man, a father, or even her mom can't even control how she wears. So she doesn't respect her family. She's definitely not going to respect you. What's the one annoying habit of your daughter? Wearing short clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. No sugar coating. <laughs> not at all. Uh, do you agree? I mean, it's fine. I'm still wearing it. So. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Happy? Happy. How do I know you're gonna come back tomorrow and not on Monday? Oh, that's a good point. I could come back Monday. <laughs> and this next one, I'm not really sure what this woman was doing with this machine. She definitely does not know how to use it. And this sex with this is absolutely insane. Basically, you have this woman over here. She's a wife with kids and has actually been married with her man for 11 years. And this is actually the second time she cheated on him. Her reaction is absolutely stupid. And she's saying she's not cheating at all. And I guess the guy in the beginning was being very, like, defensive. But at the end, I actually said, hey, she told me you guys were not together. Keep watching the clip. It gets more and more insane as you guys watch it. You don't know nothing about. You see him. What up, Cher? Yep. My wife. And the guy she's cheating on me with. Really? Who's he? She ain't cheating on you. Yes, bro. she is. She no, I'm talking. not. Yes, I'm is. talking to Why him. Why she sneaking away with a guy she don't know nobody? She don't know you, right? Oh, she know me. I know that's... she know you because she was at your house at 2 in the morning. That's okay. Her sneaking over here is okay. Where's our daughter? Uh, she's at Where's my our sister's. Daughter? She's at Where's my sister's. Where's our daughter? Because she out here with you, bro. She's at my sister's. And why you all up on him? I am here talking to him as a friend. I said... Why are you said, all up on him? I am here talking to him as a friend. A friend that you cheating on me with. Oh my fuck. You ain't got God. no business being with no dude this late. And he know that as a man. Bro, you know that. Let me Right? Well, am I right though? On? Am I right? I just want to make sure all us protected, man. I don't cause she already done tried her okay. nonsense. She been cheating on me before and now she caught again and she got, can't sit here and lie. Bro, y'all didn't even cheating. know you existed. So she didn't tell you, you knocked on my door. So she didn't tell you she was married. Told me that y'all wasn't together. You told him that? I don't know anything about y'all, bro. Now, at this point, you cannot blame the other guy. If he thinks she ended the relationship, it's not his fault for him talking to her. I'm super happy he's actually being open with what she said, and he's not taking her side, and being some kind of simp scared to lose her. He actually understands what this woman was doing was wrong, and I guess puts his foot down, and tries exposing her for cheating as well. This is she, you ain't tell him nothing about 11 years. That's why your ring lost. First of all, have you ever heard of a 11 years you've been married. 11 years you've been married. Have you ever heard of a he friend? He ain't even a friend that don't even know you married. That you didn't know. You just told me the other day you don't even know him. Why are you following You me said around? you ain't know him. Because I know you cheat. Because I know you cheating. By the way, this is one of the places I like to come look. And I actually sure. like to come sit here. Oh, yeah. I've come here plenty of times. I came here earlier. Sure. I was wondering if you. Because you sure. come to Atlanta you come here? So I know you. I knew you was going to be around you somewhere. You don't know where I go. I knew you was around here somewhere. You don't know where I go. Are you like, done? Like it's cool. Nah, I'm just making sure I got all the evidence Make I need sure. so when you get to court, you Make can't sure. lie no more. I don't even know him. Sure. So you her friend, but she don't even know you, bro. She don't even know you. A married woman out here this late, and she think it's cool. And you know it ain't cool, bro. Like I 11 you. years of being faithful to this woman. I don't know Retired you. from the military, bought a house in her <laughs> hometown, moved here to be a good husband because she's from here. My family in Georgia, bro. I moved here for her. Bought her a house. That truck she drove up here, you see you with? Uh -oh. You know who bought That's that and made every payment on that money? Me. I'm up here to see my sister. Because she a gold digger. 
I'm up here to see my sister. You ain't got no business being here with no other man. You a married woman. I'm actually up here to see my sister. You a married woman. You up here to see your sister. He don't look like your sister. Your sister house that way. I'm in. Your sister house that way. What you doing here with another man? And then you was all up on him. He a friend? You a married woman. You got no business being here with him. Well, that's it for you guys so much for watching. Because guys, the next one, take care. Peace.